Hello my loves and welcome back to another video. So in today's video, as you can see, I'm doing a glitter fairy collaboration with my beautiful friend Pip over at Pip's Nails. Um, her information will be down in the description box below for you. Um, this is the set that she created. We chose a couple of glitters from the glitter fairy and we decided to do a floral theme. This is the set that I created using the same exact glitters and floral theme as well. Um, and I decided to do 3D art because that isn't my strongest suit. So I kind of wanted to step out of my comfort zone and do something different. So I'm going to be coming in with CJP Slush Fairy, Orchid, Blue Hue, Crystal Glass, and then of course LED Top Gloss and the Ultra Adhesive Monomer. And then from the Glitter Fairy, we are using Champagne Petals, which is absolutely stunning. One of my new favorites. Oh, I love the gold tones next to the pink. And then um, I'm also going to be coming in with Swan Lake. We use the exact same glitters in both sets. And these, even though these glitters are polar opposite, they actually went really really well together because they have some of the same undertones and hues running throughout both mixes um, and then of course I'm coming in with my number 10 nail mate brush from glitter planet UK this is my go-to brush I absolutely love it I tried the number 12 I actually have a brand new number 12 brush but I just can't get on with it I don't know why and then I'm going to be using the number two um, 3D brush from CJP as well. So jumping into this on the middle finger, I'm going to be just doing a cute wash of both colors, almost creating a vertical ombre, but I'm not worried about the blend or anything like that. I'm just getting that color down just so that we have a background um, splash for our glitters. Um, I am going to be then doing a full nail of that beautiful pink on the index finger and then that blue on the ring finger. We, I am going to be building up the nail in the color, but we're not building it for strength or anything. We don't want it too thick because we are coming in with glitter as well on those fingers.
So on the little finger, I'm going to be coming in with that beautiful blue and I'm going to be creating an ombre with that and slush fairy. Um, you do have to build this color up a little bit, so I do use a few beads, but once I get the free edge the way that I want it, I will then lay down my last bead and I will blend that back so that way we do not have a harsh line. I'm going to be doing the exact same thing to the thumb except I'm going to be using that beautiful pink and then I will allow those colors to set up and then I will come in with that gorgeous slush fairy and create our ombres.
All right, my love, so it is glitter time. Um, for the middle nail, I wanted to do almost like a wavy effect down the center of the nail and have it look like the, the two glitters are kind of crashing into each other and then like tapering off um, to the nails surrounding it. Now, when it comes to specific um, glitter designs, I do try to take a little bit of extra time with them and that way I get it exactly the way that I want it in the way that I'm envisioning it. Um, I'll even sit there and kind of just examine the nail for a second and really, you know, just see if I, if I want to add some, you know, here or add some there. Sometimes taking that extra few minutes to really get the design the way that you want it can make a huge difference in a set. Um, just remember to pick up small wet beads of acrylic when picking up your glitter so that way you can continue to build the glitter up without bulking out the nail and you know running the chance of having to filing it off because you know it's too thick. Um, but yeah that's pretty much all I did for this middle nail. Again this is just another layer of foundation for the 3d work that's going to go on top of it um but gosh don't you just love these colors like they're so opposite but they go so well together you'll see once i add that other that that swan lake in there they really do go good together um but i'm gonna let you guys watch this and i will be back in just a short minute So on the index finger, I'm going to keep majority of the glitter on the right side of the nail because I want it to look like um, the glitter is kind of tapering off of the middle nail onto the nail surrounding it. So I'm going to do the same exact thing on the ring finger as well, except I'm going to keep majority of the glitter on the left side of the nail. And this will be the foundation for the petals.
this is what it looks like. Ooh, so beautiful. I love it so much. Um, so I'm going to cap and file off camera and then I will meet you back here and we will top coat and get ready for the 3D artwork. my love so now that we are done top coating we are going to move on and do some 3d artwork now i'm not going to sit here and try to explain to you what i'm doing because i have tried two times now and i have failed epically i don't really know how to explain what i'm doing here um so i'm just gonna leave you to watch it but i'm going to tell you what i did um, I created two different flowers, one in blue and one in pink, and then I created some multicolored petals that are kind of just floating around the nail, um, and I kind of wanted to give it a look as though they're blowing in the wind and kind of being carried over to the ring finger and index finger, um, and I'm just going to kind of let my glitter be my guide almost on the um the index finger and the ring finger and just have those petals kind of flow through the glitter but yeah and then on the multicolored um petals i just picked up um my blue first and then i dipped it into the pink and then i went in and did the exact same thing as i did on all of the other petals I'm sorry I can't explain it better. I wish I could. I will get better at this. This is something that I'm, I'm going to make a goal of, and it's practicing my 3D artwork. Let me know down in the comment section if you guys struggle with 3D artwork as well, um, or if you're really good at it. Either way, let me know down in the comment section.
all right my love so this is the end of the video i hope that it wasn't too long for you guys i just really wanted to leave as much as possible in um for you but a huge shout out to my beautiful friend pip uh, for doing this glitter fairy collaboration with me i'm gonna leave all of her information down in the description box for you guys uh, definitely head over to her channel watch her video and as always i'm gonna leave the glitter fairies information down in the description box as well and i'm also going to leave all of the links and discounts codes and all those goodies uh, down there too but to all of my subscribers, thank you guys so, so much for returning to another video. To all of my new subscribers, hello, welcome to my channel. Thank you for subscribing. Um, but yes, I absolutely had a blast, you guys. Don't forget to leave me a comment down in the comment section. Let me know where you guys stand with this whole 3D artwork stuff. Um, but yes, I hope that you guys love it as much as I do. Um, and if you are not yet subscribed to my channel, I would love it if you did hit that notification bell So that way you never miss a video that I upload and I will see you all in my next one. Bye beauties